Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Do you know if you're up to date with COVID vaccines or if you are at risk for severe COVID illness? Austin Public Health has two new calculators to help you find out. Just answer a series of online questions and learn what vaccines or boosters you need based on current CDC recommendations. The risk assessment tool considers demographics, chronic conditions, and vaccination status to gauge your risk of becoming seriously ill with COVID-19. To help protect your health and the health of loved ones, take the assessment at austintexas.gov COVID. Last week, Austin City Council approved a pilot program contract to provide 85 Austin households a pathway out of poverty and allow them to use unrestricted funds to address their most urgent needs. The city's equity office will work with the organization Up Together to develop the program which will be integrated with other public support services. More information to come regarding applicant criteria, an application process, participant outreach, and distributing monthly payments of $1,000 for a full year. Visit austintexas.gov council for more information. It's that time of year, and the City of Austin wants to encourage our residents to weigh in as the city plans for its next budget. It's important we hear from you and your families to help the city prioritize services that impact how you live, work, play, shop, and more. Visit austintexas.gov slash budget to learn more and take our short survey. It's not every day you get to watch people dancing with their dogs. We hope you had a chance to see Dances for Dogs and the people who walk them at the Austin Animal Center. This unique performance was created from the movement and stories of Animal Center workers, local dog lovers, and their dogs, and a collaboration with Forklift Dance Works. For all of us at Forklift, it has been an honor to partner with the Austin Animal Center. Today we're celebrating with Forklift Dance Works. They're putting something together to highlight the work that's done here in our community at Austin Animal Center. We're going to get to see some uh, staff and volunteers and members of the community uh, do a performance with their animals as well as you know telling the story of what's going on here in the shelter and out in our field. There are a lot of vendors here that are selling all kinds of food and popsicles and we're offering free microchips for the folks that show up with their animals today. It's just celebrating all things animals. We are waiving all of our adoption fees today. It takes a whole village to save as many animals as we do and we're, we're really full right now so we're trying to uh, get some people to take some animals with them when they leave today. And I'm dancing with my dog Rush who I adopted from here about a year and a half ago. We're gonna to dance to a, a song called So Rare. There's about 15 dogs and, and people in it. And we, we do a certain set pattern with the dogs dancing to the music. And uh, it just kind of showcases the dogs, hopefully more than it showcases us. You know, it's just a fun thing to do with a dog. I've never thought I'd be dancing with my dog anywhere except in the kitchen, you know. This is the first time for this. And you know, we're hoping to attract a different group of people to the Animal Center and to help them understand better what we do here. We are a national leader in, in the animal welfare world, so we're looked at as setting the standard within the animal welfare industry nationally, and it's really not well known here in Austin that that's what we're known for. This will highlight all the, the terrific work that's being done in our community. We always need volunteers. If anyone wants to help animals, we can find a place for them to help. Join Austin Parks and Recreation for Celebrasia at the Asian American Resource Center on Saturday, May 14th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. In honor of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, this family-friendly festival is free and open to the public. There will be performance groups, musicians, and hands-on activities. Asian restaurants will be selling food on site. Celebrasia will also be an opportunity to learn more about the Resource Center's expansion project and performing arts center. The event will be outdoors with some indoor activities. There is no virtual event option this year. Learn more at austintexas.gov AARC. And now, if you're hearing more bike bells in your neighborhood these days, you're not imagining it. Austin Public Works Safe Routes to School program celebrated National Bike to School Day. Staff distributed helmets and reflective gear to young cyclists who work to make every day bike to school day. Looks like a lot of fun. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. 
Stay well, Austin.